We're going to continue our discussion of exposure. Uh, in another video we talked about the shutter speed. You know that the amount of light that uh, gets to your film or to your uh, digital camera sensor is dependent upon the, uh, the opening called the aperture of the lens, how wide or small that is, and uh, how long the shutter is open. So what we're going to talk about today, what we're going to demonstrate with the help of a, an old 35 millimeter camera here is uh, just what aperture is all about. An aperture is, is an opening and it's the opening in your lens. So if we look through the back of this camera, we're going to open the shutter and, whoops, kind of fast, huh? Let's slow that down. I'm going to open the shutter and show you what a wide open aperture might look like. Okay, so that's pretty wide open. On this particular lens, that's a, a f2.8. The, uh, the f stop or the f number is simply a mathematical formula, not, not that you need to know what that is, but uh, the idea is that as you increase the aperture, you increase the amount of light. As you decrease it, you decrease the amount of light. So that's pretty simple. Uh, your, your lens will be marked um, in f stops, either full stops or half stops or third stops. Um, the important thing to know is that in the case of that number, the smaller number is the larger opening. So what I showed you there just a moment ago was f2.8, which is kind of fast. <clears throat> it's, it, we call it speed, even though it's really an opening. That's kind of a fast lens, 2.8. Uh, one would be uh, very fast and very expensive. You might have a 1.4 or a 1.8 a 2, a 2.8, uh, a, a pretty good lens will be 2.8 to maybe f22. So I'm just going to show you the differences in those. So that was, um, that was 2.8. What I'm going to do now is take that to f4. And now I'm holding the shutter open just so you can see it. Uh, and then we'll go to 5.6 and each time I do this, I'm cutting the size of the opening in half, which means I'm cutting the amount of light by half. All right, and this is f8. And f11. And so you see it's getting smaller and smaller. From a practical standpoint, uh, the more light you let in, uh, the, the dimmer the light situations you can shoot in, um, also, it controls the depth of field. Uh, the wider open you are, a 2.8 would be much narrower depth of field than an f22 or, or an f11, which I just showed you. Let me just show you what a 22 would, would look like. This would be pretty good depth of field, sort of like from the tip of your nose to infinity with a, with a wide angle lens. Um, and depth of field, we can talk about that in, a, in another video, but depth of field is simply what's in focus. Uh, if I want to shoot from my hand, to my nose, that's the part I want to be in focus. Now, I don't know who'd want a picture of that, but if the part in front of my hand was out of focus and the part behind my nose, like my ears, were out of focus, then the depth of field would be that part that's in focus, all right? So that, that's another discussion, but uh, hopefully that'll explain what, uh, what uh, aperture is, okay? Thanks.